For over 850 years, Notre Dame de Paris has stood as more than just a beautiful cathedral. It's a symbol deeply ingrained in France's history and culture. Located in the center of Paris on the Ile de la Cité, this architectural marvel has witnessed centuries of ups and downs, making it a beloved landmark globally. When you look at it, you can see how its walls hold onto history. Now let's take a step back and look at the history of how Notre Dame was built. Construction of Notre Dame began in 1163, during the Gothic era under the reign of King Louis VII. The construction was completed in 1345, making the construction period about 182 years. With its impressive facade, intricate flying buttresses, and stunning stained glass windows, the cathedral showcased the architectural brilliance of its time. One cannot imagine that architects and laborers worked together and came up with this brilliant piece of architecture together. Over the years, it played host to significant events such as coronations, royal weddings, and national celebrations. Victor Hugo's renowned novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, further contributed to its global fame. But you know how all good things come to an end? Similar is the case of the once majestic Notre Dame. Throughout the years, Notre Dame has faced damage for several reasons. According to the cathedral's website, there was once a point where Notre Dame was in a stage of disrepair and close to the point of demolishing. However, Napoleon, crowned emperor inside the cathedral in 1804, saved it. The cathedral even faced threats during World War II, so the stained glass rose window had to be removed until the war's end. But the damage that was to come in 2019 was much bigger than any previous ones. In April 2019, a fire swept through Notre Dame, destroying its roof and iconic spire while causing substantial damage. The world watched in shock as this tragedy took place, prompting an international outpouring of grief and support. French President Emmanuel Macron made a promise to rebuild Notre Dame, emphasizing its integral role in the country's soul, history and literature. On that sad evening in April 2019, Notre Dame de Paris went through something incredibly heartbreaking, a massive fire that changed its iconic look forever. Around 6.18 p.m., flames broke out in the attic, quickly destroying its old wooden beams and delicate craftsmanship. The eerie glow of the fire painted a strange picture over the familiar Parisian landmark. The worst moment hit at 7.50 p.m., when Notre Dame's tall spire, a silent witness to centuries of history, gave in to the fierce fire. The collapse of this important piece of architecture happened in front of the world, showing the loss of something truly special. It's worth mentioning that the spire, the standout part of Notre Dame's look, wasn't part of the original building in the 12th century. It was added during a restoration in the 19th century, carrying its own historical significance as a symbol of the cathedral's enduring spirit. Watching this cultural icon burn had a deep emotional impact. Images seen worldwide showed the cathedral covered in flames against the Paris night sky. The shared shock and sadness emphasized how much Notre Dame meant to the people, both culturally and emotionally. But in the midst of all the destruction, there was a bit of hope. Notre Dame's famous stained glass windows survived. These really old artworks with their intricate designs made it through the fire, standing strong in the midst of the ashes. In fact, the iconic stained glass rose window also stayed safe throughout this incident. The stained glass windows became a symbol of Notre Dame's ability to endure tough times, offering a bit of hope for its eventual recovery. The thing is, you can fix concrete walls and all the other stuff at this time, but those stained glass windows were not easy to restore. And it was like a sign from the skies that there is something that people can still do about it to fix the architecture. Apart from the spire, the roof also faced significant damage. The upper walls of the cathedral were also destroyed. However, the interior was saved from massive destruction due to the vaulted stone ceiling, which held onto the burning roof as it collapsed. Most of the artwork and religious relics were also removed from the cathedral in time. But some still suffered from smoke damage, while others were destroyed. Even though there were no casualties, three workers got injured while trying to save anything in the cathedral they could. 
But since the damage was already done, the challenge now was to restore it. And for this, Emmanuel Macron set a five-year deadline. Now that we're talking about the reconstruction, let's start with the spire itself. Reconstructing Notre Dame spire was a significant engineering challenge, given its historical and non-original nature. While rebuilding the spire, the focus was on keeping it as identical as possible to the one designed in the 19th century. This original version was designed by the famous architect Eugène Violet le Duc, and doing so was a challenge. This also meant that the material used was similar to the original one, including wood for roofing and stone for other parts. Not to mention, this rebuilding wasn't just handed over to anybody that came forward. Instead, it involved the expertise of chief architects of historical monuments, the advisory council that handles important restoration projects in France, and other historic building experts. At the moment, the removal of the burned scaffolding that surrounded the spire is in process, while the timber framework for the nave and choir is also being prepared with great care for future installation. Around 300 tons of melted scaffolding have to be removed, and it requires precise execution to prevent further instability. However, the engineers involved employed innovative solutions, including advanced bracing techniques to secure the structure during the initial phase, successfully avoiding potential collapse risks. The old golden rooster that called the top of the spire its home for a year was damaged in the fire. Even though it was saved, it was still not usable. So the spire will get a new golden rooster. This new rooster, designed to resemble a phoenix as a symbol of the endurance and resurrection, represents the broader theme of Notre Dame's recovery from the fire. The cathedral vault, specifically the transept crossing, the choir and the nave vaults, are also being repaired using medieval techniques to restore their original form and structure. Now, if we talk about the cross-shaped base, it has already been set in place and the spire is also installed. So it's safe to say that the process is almost complete. Apart from that, the work has achieved another significant milestone by restoring the grand organ, as it's one of the central pieces of the cathedral's musical heritage. The organ builders replaced wind chests and connected them to the console. This process will allow the proper manual functioning of the grand organ. Selecting materials for the restoration involved a delicate balance between historical authenticity and modern structural requirements. The engineers opted for a combination of traditional and contemporary materials to ensure durability while respecting the cathedral's architectural integrity. Materials like wood and stone were sourced from the same areas as the ones used in the original construction of the building. Along with that, this time, the restoration required extra steps to help avoid any future incidents that could damage the building. The material selection for restoration involved several factors, including historical authenticity, availability, and structural integrity. Not only did it require original materials for the roofing, but also a careful selection of the timber to match the quality and dimensions of the original 1300 trees that were harvested over a decade. Not to mention, this restoration isn't all about building the cathedral again. It also required significant scientific research, with more than 170 scholars studying and analyzing different aspects of the cathedral, including the materials, sculpture, ornamentation, and civil engineering. While on the topic, we must not ignore the innovative 3D scanning and modeling incorporated into the restoration process. This new technology played a major role in the restoration of Notre Dame. 3D scanning and modeling helped engineers find accurate solutions to the challenges that blocked their way while working on the cathedral. Laser scanning technology is used to create a detailed 3D model of a building. Doing this to the cathedral allowed the engineers to capture as many data points as possible to create a watertight mesh to be used to rebuild the building virtually. This technology helped scan the whole building and the stones, which made it possible to reconstruct the stone ribs that once supported the cathedral's arches. So far, the 3D scanning and modeling technology has helped the experts understand the damage that the cathedral sustained in the 2019 fire. So it's safe to say that with this technology, they have found solutions for all issues related to the restoration. While the structural restoration is in process, the idea is to bring beauty to the areas surrounding the cathedral as well. This beautifying process 
will be carried out while keeping climate change in mind, such as planting trees for shade and introducing water features to reduce heat. As per the report, the total cost required to rebuild Notre Dame is about $767 million. But the good thing is that over $900 million have already been raised in donations from over 340,000 donors in 150 countries. Apart from donating money, different countries and organizations have offered help in rebuilding the cathedral as well. On April 15, 2020, Germany came forward and offered to rebuild some of the large celestiary windows located far above eye level. And on April 18, Ubisoft, the French game developer and publisher, also offered to provide about 5,000 hours worth of research about the building structure. This research was actually previously done in order to recreate the cathedral in the 2014 video game Assassin's Creed Unity. Following the Notre Dame fire, the French government promptly committed a substantial amount of funds for the restoration. Private donors, particularly influential French billionaires and corporations, played a crucial role in funding Notre Dame's restoration. Notable contributors like Louis Vuitton, L'Oréal, Apple and Disney made significant donations. Each donor had a unique connection to the cathedral, whether driven by cultural appreciation, corporate responsibility or personal history. While the primary financial support came from within France, the international community also expressed solidarity with the restoration effort. Various countries and organizations recognized the global importance of Notre Dame, contributing to the collective effort to preserve this iconic cultural heritage beyond national borders. But that wasn't all. In 2022, about eight workshops of master glassmakers and locksmiths started the process of cleaning and restoring the cathedral's glass windows. Germany's Cologne Cathedral also joined the effort, and they restored four stained glass windows. Rebuilding Notre Dame is a big and detailed job, but there's been a lot of progress. As of 2023, about 1,000 workers are working on the project. This includes both on-site and specialized workshops across France. Not just that, according to the latest reports, the tall spire has been rebuilt, marking a crucial step in fixing things. The government is still working on taking down the scaffolding, showing off parts of the fixed up front, and carefully fixing up important parts like vaults, strong walls, and colorful windows. Even though there might be some unexpected problems, the aim is to finish everything by December 8th 2024. Well, then again, it's important to note that while the cathedral plans to reopen for church services and tourist visits in December 2024, the full restoration will not be complete until 2025. Reports suggest that it can take 15 to 20 years to restore it to its original form fully. Rebuilding Notre Dame isn't just about fixing a building. It's about all of us deciding to keep our history alive and build something great again. As we keep going, Notre Dame shows us that we can be strong and creative and make amazing things that last a really long time. To wrap things up, fixing Notre Dame is more than just a construction project. It's a sign of strength, creativity, and determination to keep something special alive. But hey, this story isn't over yet. We've got more episodes coming your way. We'll get into the nitty gritty details, share stories about the people involved, and explore the cool techniques to make this reconstruction happen. So stick around for more. Thanks a bunch for joining us. If you liked what you heard, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care and stay curious.